Hi, my name is Clayton Matson. I'm a firefighter here with Jackson County Fire District 3. I'm also a member of the technical rescue team and I'd like to share a little bit of information about staying warm in the water. We're out here at Dodge Bridge boat ramp and we've got the beautiful Rogue River behind us which is a great spot to come and play and a couple things that we can do to ensure you are safe. What I'm going to talk to you about now is the water temperature and how that relates to hypothermia. This river right now is uh, the mid 50s degrees and it uh, stays cold all summer long. Very important to know that when you are swimming in the cold water, it's going to pull your body heat out really quickly and make it very difficult for you to actively swim. So as Andy's gonna talk about in a little bit, very important that you are wearing your proper life jackets to make sure that you're gonna be nice and safe on the water. Parents know that when your kids are playing out here, having fun in the water, their core body temperature is going to drop pretty quick. So it's important that you are frequently checking on your kids and making sure that they are not getting too cold. Look at their skin, make sure it's not getting too pale, goosebumps, they're shivering, purple lips, purple blue fingertips. Those are all good signs that it's a good idea to get out of the water and warm up. Make sure when your kids are playing by the river, make sure that they're wearing life jackets because uh, all too quickly they can uh, lose their ability to swim. So even if they are competent swimmers in lakes and in pools, this river out here, given the cold water, is a, a different element and we want to keep everybody safe. So make sure you're staying warm and you're wearing your life jackets. Uh, another thing that's unique to the river out here versus pools and lakes is we've got lots of different currents. Uh, this river, the water level's gonna change as the summer comes along and the river's going to go down. Uh, if you're out here in the spring, the river can come up and uh, the currents are constantly changing. When we look out here, we can see just the influence of the current on the rocks, creating different little hydraulics that, uh, that can be pretty dangerous. So uh, we'll also have some information about, about uh, safe ways to be floating down the river, making sure that you keep your body as close to the surface of the water as possible. Good morning, uh, Andy Cardinal here. Again, another um, member of the technical rescue team. Uh, going over some boater safety and main thing today is going to be uh, life jackets We're talking here at the Dodge Bridge uh, life jacket loaner station uh, we have these life jackets available for you to uh, they say loaner on them uh, bring them out use them and uh, bring them back when you're done uh, these are for use uh, if you do not have one when you come down here to uh, enjoy the water very important that you wear the proper life jacket uh, make sure it's the proper fit to size, fasten all the straps, uh, should fit snugly around the chest, and then lift to test, should not go above the ears when you're wearing it. Uh, you lift up on it, on your child, lift up around here, and it should not move up. So we wanna make sure that we get everything fastened correctly, all buckles uh, fastened, and then pull down uh, and make sure everything fits well. Uh, that way everybody can enjoy the water and have a safe, fun time at the river. Thank you and have a great day. All right, so we're going to put the life jacket on, make sure it fits properly over the shoulder. I'm going to do all the fasteners. One more through the legs, buddy. This one's very important so that way it doesn't come off up and over the shoulders. We're going to tighten everything down a little bit, make sure it's snug. How's that feel, buddy? Good. Nice. And we're gonna lift up on it, and make sure it doesn't come off of his shoulders. Tighten this one up a little bit more. And there we go. Okay, so anytime we're on the water, we're floating Ready? down in a raft, we're gonna to wanna to have our life jackets on like Andy already talked to everybody about. Uh, in the event that you do fall out and you find yourself in the water, you want to be safe about it. You want to be feet down river. Try to keep your feet at the surface as shallow in the water as we can be. If you have to go through a rapid, take a deep breath when you go through them. 
the water will splash over your face, but keeping your feet out will keep you from getting trapped in any rocks. If your partner has a throw bag, alert the rescuer. Rope! Throw the rope to the person. Once you grab the rope, put it over your shoulder and hold yourself on the rope and let the person on the shoreline slowly pendulum you over to the shoreline where you can safely get out of the river. Mike Hussey, Deputy Chief, Operations, Fire District 3. There's a few important things to remember when you're recreating near a waterway or uh, the river. Always use a life jacket. If you do find yourself falling into the water without a life jacket, roll over onto your back, feet downstream, and face down the river, looking for any opportunity to get into calmer water. Additionally, it's important that you don't try to stand up. There's many hazards underneath the surface of the water and we don't want your foot to get entrapped, causing you to be forced over face down into the water. All right, if you do happen to find calmer water or an island, stay on that location until additional assistance can come. That is a safe location. And most importantly, once you find yourself into the water, don't panic, look down the stream and try and find the safest egress. If you decide to take a float down the river with your friends or family, please take additional time to scout the route in which you wish to float. Some of our locations have quite calm water only above a rapid or a significant drop that you may be unprepared for. Additionally, make sure the devices that you're going to float on are approved for the types of water and activities that you're going to partake. Parents, remember, it's not just the Rogue River that poses a significant hazard. The irrigation ditches and associated creeks within our region can pose a hazard to our children as they seek to cool down in these summer months. Thank you, Casey Mason! You're welcome, buddy. Get some Get some